We are already starting the year. I think that the feeling that the year we left behind just two days ago was a very bad year. It is universal. Well, it will be a debatable or not, but of course for many it has been a very bad year. However, I also think that the feeling that we did not deserve it, that we were entitled to something much better. It is universal. With this, I really don't want to offend anyone who has been particularly affected by this year. Loss of loved ones, illness, loss of jobs. I want to meditate on the pride of this world we lived in. Because maybe that's what we should have learned, and it is terrible that we haven't learned that lesson, the lesson of humbleness. I remember one of the books I have read several times, and I have liked the most, and that I have been made to like the most, has been Chesterton's autobiography. I remember a story that he talks about precisely humbleness. Given an example, he talks about the simplest flower that appears in a normal way. Not a greenhouse flower, no. A dandelion. But he talks about the sin of a gentleman who goes to a club in London and orders a chop. Well, we don't know if it was a veil pork or lamb, a chop. When the waitress of this club, a gentleman club, an enlightened club, a distinguished club, serve him the chop plate, he confronts the waiter and says, is this a chop for a gentleman? Well, Chesterton meditates, he says, if the same chop, the same one, was to a person who was not a gentleman, he had been given, not necessary even to a beggar, but to a person who has a job, and who tries hard to earn the title or the lot effort, surely, he will not have answered that way. Everything depends on the expectatives we have, on those things that we think we have the right. In other words, the problem is not outside you, the problem is within you, to such an extent that you consider yourself a God, that is, entitled to everything, then, whatever you given, whatever it may be, will never be good enough for a gentleman. Not because of the chop, but because you are so coincident, so proud, so godly, that I don't know whether there will be a great, magnificent chop, a well-made one, or perfect one for you, a noble God, gallant, and great Lord, before who all may pay reverence from morning to night. That is the problem. The problem is not whether the 2020 has been a good year enough for a gentleman like the job. And I repeat, I know that many people have suffered horribly. The problem, deep down, it is what we think we deserve. What do we think it is right? that is really a right, or that it is something that is not a right. We have lost the ability, says Chesterton, to see the beauty of the dead lion, of a flower that is called dead lion. We have the lost the ability to give thanks for what we have, which is not perfect, it is not, but neither we are gods or the gentlemen in history, who thinks he is more than anyone else in the world. When we lost the ability to see the beauty of a sunset every day, even if it is the same sunset, even if there is not two sunsets alike, when we lost the ability to be amazed, Chesterton says, we are lost. Pride has taken over. It seems to me that starting this year and just finishing the last one, we should meditate on this, on humbleness, on pride. What has ended 
pues no ha sido has not been entitled good no ha sido del todo bueno he has not been entitled good but we are here we are here ¿Qué derecho teníamos a tener what right did we have to have a perpetual hell who told you that story it is a gift ¿Qué derecho teníamos what right did we have to have the loved person live forever the days that we had that person were a gift what right do we have in the year that is begin now, they have a wonderful job, well paid, with a little effort, and then a perfect health, and that we have eaten these days that now represent a few extra pounds on the scale. What right do we have for so many things that we think we have the right? It is not true. It is a gift. A person who is not able to see things like that is a very unhappy person. That person is always complaining. Everything is not good enough for him because he's a gentleman, a gentleman, and that shop is not good enough for a gentleman. What do you think who I am? Hey, I don't know me. That is pure pride. Whereas when you feel that everything is a gift and that everything is a grace and that these are things that you don't deserve, they are gifts. We believers say gifts from God. Non-believers cannot say that. Because, let's see who gives them the gift. They say that it is a chance that is already saying, when you realize that everything is a gift, everything is grace, how you enjoy life, how you savor every moment, how you feed the punch that life gives you, because you don't understand it, it makes you suffer. But you know that God's allowed it and you remember the good moments and you value what you still have, what you had, even if you don't have it, and what you still have, and you give thanks for it. There is a word that has become fashionable, I think, especially on this year of the COVID. At least I never heard it before, but in this year, the word has been repeated many times, resilience, a rare word, at least in a normal vocabulary, is not resilience, which means the ability to get up when one has fallen. For us, it should be, it must be normal. You get hit, something you get hit yourself with your sins. You are your own worst enemy. You hit yourself, life hits you, other hits you. But you know that God does not abandon you. You know so. You know that there is eternal life. You know that you can count on God. And you know that the little, or not so little, that you still have is a gift. And from there, you draw the strength to get up, because all life is a gift. And the job that they put me on the plate, which perhaps is not of a gentleman, because it is a pretty good job, although perhaps I could have been the best, among other things, I am not a gentleman either. So I thank God, I get up, eat the job pork before it gets cold. Keep fighting, think, thanking God, and feeling enormously happy. If we begin the year simply with empty words, feelings, they have no effect. If we begin the new year thinking that all the problems of the world are going to end, and it's going to be a wonderful world, that the thousands of dollars bills, thousands of euro bills, or however current on each country, will fall from the trees without working. Well, I don't think the 2021 will be much better than the previous year. Resilience, to get up, to continue fighting, because we believe in God and enjoy what we have, even if it's little or it seems little to us, maybe it's not either, because others see us and say, if I had what that one has to us, the chop plate seems small, but for someone else, it is an exquisite. Get up, because we trust in God, to give thanks for what we have, which is not the all that we would like to have, but it is a gift. It is a gift from the Lord, and I am not entitled to anything else. I am a gentleman like the one in Chesterton's story. I am a person who puts you in a chop on the dish and says, Welcome, dear chop. At least I have something. Let us begin the year like this, thanking God, getting up after every hit, because we know that God 
It is always, always with us, Soviet.